Um, our next concept that we're going to go over is uh, life instincts and death instincts. Now, uh, I think the easiest way to uh, go over these two concepts is to define them straight out and then go back into the actual book on page 533 and look at the examples that the author gives rather than just starting with the examples. Um, so a life instinct is an instinct that has their goal as the sustaining of life. It's pretty self-explanatory. Now, a death instinct is uh, the instinct that has death as its goal, sometimes called a death wish. Now, to uh, discuss this in the chapter, um, libidinal energy can uh, be directed toward either life or death instincts. Freud's final position was that when a need arises, libidinal energy is expended to satisfy it, thereby prolonging life. When all needs are satisfied, the person is in a state of minimal tension. One of life's major goals is to seek this state of needlessness that corresponds to complete satisfaction. What happens if the above discussion is carried an additional step? There is a condition of the body that represents the ultimate steady state or state of non-tension. It is called death. Life, Freud said, starts from inorganic matter, and part of us longs to return to that state because only in that state is there no longer the constant struggle to satisfy biological needs. So this is how he came up with the death instinct. And uh, the life instinct, there, there's a tension between life and death instincts because the life instincts seek to prolong life because we enjoy life. But on the other hand, we don't want to have to deal with uh, the, the challenges and uh, the potential uh, problems that come along with life. So there is a longing for death, and not so much death in terms of like having an existential crisis and coming to terms with the fact that you're going to die and that nothing comes after it. Um, in this case, death is more of a liberation from the inconveniences of life. And that's basically what um, we would want to get out of this concept. And uh, so the death instinct, uh, it often manifests itself in uh, aggressive tendencies like hatred, murder, or cruelty, and general aggression. and. Uh, because we long for death and these things, um, these things come from death, Freud viewed that uh, aggression is a natural component of human nature. 